Hey guys, it's Kiara. Today's video is going to be a optometry Q&A video because I know you guys have so many questions about optometry and finally here's a video. I'm gonna get straight to the point and straight to the video so let's get started with the first question. So the first question is why did I choose optometry? Initially I did wanted to go into healthcare slash medicine but I really wanted something specific. Medicine is really broad and I just kind of found like the pros and cons of my decision. So the summer before starting A-levels, I really wanted to find my career at that point and I found some videos on optometry, videos such as is optometry right for you? So I started watching those videos and then I got really curious, did some more research and I found the pros and cons to optometry and I was like okay this actually sounds really cool, I never thought about doing optometry. So I found more videos and also some articles online. Basically found out that there's so much more to optometry than just glasses, contact lenses, People say like, oh, optometry, it's such a repetitive job saying, is it better with one or two? It's not all about that. It ranges from detecting and managing ocular diseases, eye diseases such as AMD, glaucoma, finding out if the person has cataracts. This is vital in just preventing someone from having severe vision loss. Even if it's just as small as prescribing someone glasses or contact lenses, it can make a huge difference and impact in that person's everyday life. Seeing a child getting their glasses for the first time, you can just see their faces light up. Such a nice and gratifying experience. Just helping out that person, allowing them to see clearly it can make a massive difference in a person's life as well yeah just creating the joy and vision and just being there at the forefront for patients and for people seeing familiar patients and also seeing new patients creating those interactions and those bonds i guess optometry is really a people course you gotta love people you gotta love meeting people yeah so in terms of the pros you will get like a work-life balance almost working from nine to five and there's so many other sectors that you can go to in your career of optometry you can go into teaching you can go into research you can go into specialized care such as like going into glaucoma amd you can also be creative and even make your own practice or your own business and the optical world yeah also hospital optometry is another thing that you could go into because there's so many clinics in hospital optometry such as keratoconus clinics you've got contact lens clinics corneal clinics you've also got pediatrics and it's just so cool having hospital optical work experience people think that's very busy but actually you still have that nine to five working life and you get to see many more different patients that you would normally get to see in just a normal community practice if you work in spectators of vision express or or for example just a normal community optician will have that pressure of making sales that's what optometry hospital optometry is quite different so some optometrists choose to be a locum and that just means that you can go into different opticians eye clinics and you can just go to different ones per week or per day and you're kind of flexible you won't be in the same environment 24 7 every single week every single day but you will be in different opticians with a different environment and meeting different and that's kind of cool if you do want to go for that one you can also switch it up you can work in a community optician and hospital at the same time you can work in a community optician or you can work in a hospital in the same week so you could do part-time hospital work as well which is so cool I love how optometry is just changing. Okay, so my advice when choosing a course at university and if you want to go for optometry, do so much research upon it and look at the pros and cons and what best suits you. I really like the practical side of things. I love seeing how the theory that I've learned from first year coming to play in second year and I kind of understand the things that I've done in first year. When choosing a course, find something that you want to do in university, what you see yourself repaying from that degree. Getting a degree in optometry means that I can be a successful optometrist working in different sectors. See where optometry takes me. I really like how it's just about building this patient practitioner relationships and also having that work-life balance. I chose optometry because I found that actually the things that optometry entails is the things that I want to do in university. I want to meet people in university. I want to do more practicals, clinics, working with people, working in a team. I think that's just so great. And for different courses, obviously you won't get that. So leading on to the next question, is optometry a hard course? Well, yes and no. I think that every course has their own difficulties, has their own challenges, and has their own ups and downs. Despite not being 
amazing at every module at university. I had that career goal in mind, understanding that these learning steps will help me get to my goal in the future. Again, just focusing on the benefits that I'll reap after graduating. I just keep my eyes on the positives when things get hard. Even though optometry is a course that's quite dynamic and intellectually challenging, it is a challenge that I'm willing to take. Those have errors which you might not be interested in, you might not like, you'll probably be like, oh wait, how is this even related to my career? Finding that balance in my studies, meaning that you don't burn yourself out and overthink and overwork yourself to the point where you just hate everything. I really love Optom because it is enjoyable and even though there are some parts of it that's just not enjoyable maybe the physics side and the math side and the statistics side I just always recognize that these difficulties is a part of the setup of me just becoming the optometrist I want to be so about requirements and applications to optometry I get loads of questions about that because you guys are just unsure about how to write a perfect personal statement there is no perfect personal statement guys the people know that you guys are just 17 18 year olds trying to get your personal statement out there trying to express your love for optometry make sure when choosing universities you choose the university where you want to live in okay for example you want to go to the University of Manchester and you think that Manchester City is so nice and it's where you want to live and it's where you want to get that student life from okay so that's just an example and also just think about the rankings of the university does it have good high student satisfaction is the employability rate quite high and just balance those factors and from there you can kind of just see the requirements of the universities whether that means you need an AAA, ABB, AAB for your A levels and also you can check out the GCSE grades as well. Some universities do provide a foundation year or a preliminary year meaning that you get to study the optometry course even if you didn't do the required A levels, that preliminary year giving you the baseline of you know the scientific knowledge and things that will help you prepare for your bachelor's or master's optometry degree. So for my personal statement, I did not have optical work experience at all. I didn't manage to get any optical work experience because it was still COVID time, and yeah, it just used all the experiences, volunteering. Um, that I had my primary school work experience I included in my hospital admin voluntary work experience I added in my University of Birmingham pediatric work experience which was taken online I also added in my British Sign Language qualification that I did in A-levels just make sure that you link it to optometry just really link it and express your desire for the course but also keep in mind that having optical work experience is good because you get a feel for the environment that you want to work in in the future so highly recommend getting optical experience but again if it's not possible then just give it all you got okay studying chemistry has developed my ability to work with others during experiments we work as an organized and cohesive team which is key to conducting a successful practical i'm confident when working alongside other students attaining the skills that i will need when delivering patients care and working within a wider team of professionals as an optometrist highly recommend you guys doing some wider reading and then for your interviews make sure you do them and make sure you get lots of practice i had to practice so so much just act like you're confident dress nicely have your lines prepared as well just memorize your lines because they can just fire any questions at you and also have that background knowledge from your wider reading talk to the interviewer really casually talk to them as you were to a teacher or a friend and yeah just have a comfortable conversation with them in terms of those who want to do a master's degree or want to do a bachelor's and you're not too sure which one so with some universities nowadays they do involve a master's degree in optometry instead of just a normal bachelor's optometry regardless of doing a bachelor's or a master's in optometry there isn't much difference with a master's you will do an extra year where you'll specialize in a particular area or disease for example glaucoma i guess help you if you want to get into specialized clinics or if you want to build up your own practice however getting a bachelor's degree in optometry you will still be able to do the same things and get the same benefits so it's really up to you if you want to do it if you're in university i would recommend you to speak to your personal tutor about that switching courses or possibly doing medicine after optometry because 
doing medicine you can be able to become a ophthalmologist after your bachelor's degree for those people who are asking advice on how i did in first year and how to get through first year of optometry definitely check my advice video for first year down below if someone's asking what do you recommend for note taking either that's taking real life notes using your ipad or your laptop okay so personally i do love using my ipad and i've been using it all throughout year two so far and it's just been super handy because it's so lightweight and easy to carry it's really thin as well it's so nice and thin and lightweight and i just bring my keyboard and mouse partner along with this i do use some studying apps as well if you want a thorough video on some university revision techniques study techniques and study techniques then just comment that down below i'll see if i'll make one it's really a mix it's really 50 50 when it comes with laptop note taking or real life note taking notepad um and in university you just have to find your own style first year is just about experimenting with your revision techniques i'm just creating some flashcards on anki using my ipad and revising from anki and i just i do switch between taking notes on my ipad and also taking some real life notes so for some modules for some modules, I'll just blurt out some information, weigh out the pros and cons, but for me, having an iPad definitely outweighs the cons of the expenses. I love the spark of curiosity that people have for optometry, so if you're applying for optometry this year, then all the best, and you got this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!